So from a clinical standpoint with, um, with our Mulgradex product into PAP, we uh, are enrolling a phase three study. Uh, we just reached the 90 patient mark ahead of schedule by two months. Um, the study is a 135 patient study. Uh, we expect to complete enrollment by Q3 of this year and with top line results early next year. Uh, we just submitted an IND um, to um, the FDA and got approval to expand the study into the United States. Prior to that, we were enrolling in 20 countries around the world. We will now activate approximately five sites here in the United States. As far as the, uh, the new indication expansion of Mulgradex into non-tuberculosis microbacterium or NTM, uh, we're about to initiate um, a phase 2A pilot study. This will be a 30 patient study. Um, we'll have two arms. We'll be enrolling patients that are already on standard of care um, for NTM and they'll be inhaling uh, GMCSF for, for six months and we'll also enroll a separate group and those that have failed standard of care or could not tolerate standard of care. Um, that enrollment is expected to begin imminently. Um, we anticipate about six months of enrollment uh, so that would finish about Q3 of this year and we also have the possibility since it's an open label study to, um, to uh, release interim data uh, along the way, um, uh, uh, possibly as granular as 10 patients per, per interim uh, release. So for Aerovanc, uh, we now are un uh, uh, our phase three study is underway. Uh, this is a 200 patient a double blind study um, in, uh, in cystic fibrosis patients colonized with MRSA. Um, the, the study is a six month study, three cycles of antibiotics. Uh, one cycle is 28 days on and then 28 days off repeated. Um, uh, that study begun enrollment uh, last quarter. Um, so we've got about four months under our belt. Uh, we expect enrollment to complete by this time next year. So this is Q1 of 2019 with top line results in Q3 of 19.